Hi, I'm Karina. Today we're gonna discuss my 10 tips how to adapt vegan diet easily and comfortably. Plus, I'm gonna share with you my experience and steps that I took in this transition. But before we begin, there's an important thing I want to mention. If you have any medical conditions, please talk to your physician first so you will be confident in what you're doing. So let's begin. Some people go vegan overnight as I did and some go to the point slowly and gradually. I think both ways deserve the attention and you should decide what would work for you and your body the best. I went vegan instantly after watching the documentary What the Hell. I'm sure many of you heard about it. After watching that, my husband and I decided that we weren't gonna eat any more products anymore. It made a huge impact on us and changed our mindset instantly. It's been three years since we adopted this diet. It was easier for us to give up everything at once. But as I mentioned, everyone is different and has their own view on this matter, and it's totally fine. You should adapt to a vegan diet slowly and gradually, cutting one group of animal products at a time if it feels right for you. Listen to your body and do what is best for you. Tip number two, make your own research. After watching that documentary, I started to ask myself, why we didn't have that information earlier? Why we don't know that animal farms make tremendous impact on the environment? I became curious about all this animal world and started to research as much information as possible. I've made tons of research and the more I found out, the more I reinforced the position of becoming vegan. I've watched documentaries, read different books, found great doctors who advocate this diet and explain in details and facts the benefits of it. So my point here is make your own research, find as much information as possible from credible sources. Then you will be confident in your choice and will find all answers on all your questions. As for me, at the beginning it was overwhelming. It took me a while until I got all my answers. I will mention in the description some documentaries, books and other sources where you can learn more about it. Tip number three, connect with others on social media. I know at the beginning it might feel like you're the only one with your diet in the whole universe. But believe me, you are not alone. There are thousands, millions of people like you who are just starting, transitioning, learning about veganism. And the good thing, social media, where you can find the same mindset people. There are plenty of vegan groups on Facebook, Instagram and Pinterest. What I did, I joined as many groups related to the vegan topic as possible. You can get some answers on your questions, get recipe ideas, make friends and get support during this transition period. Do your search and you might find some groups in your area as well. Tip number 4. Meal planning and meal prep. There are plenty of great websites, YouTube channels, cookbooks with the delicious vegan recipes. Start to explore and be open-minded to a variety of plant-based food. It's a great idea to have a meal plan for a few days in advance. In this case, you will know what groceries to buy and what to cook. So stock up your pantry with essentials. Also, you can prepare some meals that would stay in the fridge perfectly fine for a few days. I have lots of recipes on my channel that you can cook and enjoy later. Tip number five, discover vegan alternatives. At the beginning of my journey, I was so surprised how many alternatives there are on the market. You can find any substitute to animal product, starting from cheese, sour cream, yogurt, to chicken nuggets, ground beef, and vegan burgers. I would recommend buying those alternatives occasionally, as they would help to satisfy cravings and make transition more smoothly. Tip number six, focus your attention on gains. Try not to concentrate your attention on losses like ability to have chicken or cheese, instead focus on gains, like gaining on improved health, gaining on safe animals and environment. Open yourself to the variety of new products like beans, legumes, grains, nuts and seeds, fruits and vegetables. There are plenty of other products besides meat and dairy. Tip number 7. Be prepared eating out. I wouldn't say it's easy to find a good vegan meal in every restaurant, it wouldn't be true. Some places have a variety of options and some of them none. What I do before going somewhere out, I check their website and see if they have any options for me there. 
Also, you can call the restaurant in advance and ask if they provide any vegan meal or if chef can cook the vegan meal for you. Many restaurants practice that and you can always ask for available substitute or avoiding some ingredients in the meal. It might look difficult and confusing at first, but I promise it will get easier day by day. Just don't be hard on yourself and give it a time. You've been eating animal products all your life, so it takes time to adapt to such changes. Tip number 8. Bring your own food. I know how it is when you are invited to your friends or family and you are super hungry and there is no options for you to eat besides veggies or some salad. At this point, it's easy to give up and eat what others eat as we need to satisfy our hunger. In this case, bring your own food, make at home or buy something already cooked, so you will be confident that you will fulfill your body. I'm sure your friends would be happy to try vegan meal as well. Tip number 9. Don't judge others. When I started my journey, I wanted to share the information about this lifestyle with every person and every friend I met. But then I realized that everyone is so different and have their own view on food, health and lifestyle. So I stopped doing that. If someone become interested in vegan diet and ask me questions about it, I would gladly share the information I know, but won't push anyone to go vegan tomorrow. People should realize the importance of it on their own. Don't judge anyone who is not on the same position as you are. We are all different and have our own reasons for the life we live. Just do your best, be supportive and share with people your knowledge if they are interested in that. Tip number 10. Importance of motivation. Motivation is the key here. It's very important to understand why you're doing this for your health, animals, environment or something else. It's good to have a strong position and motivation so you will remind yourself every time of any destruction. Number one reason for me was my health. I realized the impact of animal products on my health and the huge power of plants in reversing diseases. Later on, I found out that animal farms are a great contributor to the pollution of the planet. And when I saw the conspiracy documentary, I was shocked how smart all animals are and how our culture dictates which animals to have as a food and which one prefer as a fat. So now the reason is not only my health, but also animal life and our planet. And you should decide what your motivation is. That were my 10 tips of transitioning to a vegan diet. I hope you found something new and helpful. And again, don't be hard on yourself and don't give up if you want some treats occasionally. It's all good and we are doing our best here. Remember that you should enjoy your food and not feel miserable. It's not the purpose. Do what you can and make this change about adapting a new lifestyle rather than reverting to a temporary quick fix. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer to all of them. Also share with us your tips and experience in vegan diet in the comments below. See you next time. Bye!